Hi everybody, welcome back to the channel. Hope you're all keeping well. This week, we're gonna be taking one of these Hornby buffer stops, adding a bit of paint and putting some lights on it to put onto our winter layout here. So hopefully it'll go from looking like this to this. As always, a big thank you to my channel members and Patreon members whose names are scrolling down here. Do check out their channels, they're linked down below. Now let's get these buffer stops painted and ready for the layout. Here's the Hornby buffer stop, uh, similar to a lot of other buffer stops. Um, it's representing a, a metal frame here with a wooden barrier at the top. So I'm going to paint this up now. So these bits here, which are supposed to be metal, I'm going to paint them in a rust colour. And then these bits at the top, which are wooden, I'm going to paint them with just some burnt umber, just to give a wooden effect. Because uh, it's going on my winter layout, so I'll then be putting snow on it as well. Uh, I'll probably put uh, the buffer ends here, make them white and dirty them up a bit so they look like they've been used. So I'm not going to bore you painting this item. I'm just going to paint it and then show you the finished article. Let's get cracking with that. Here is the painted buffer stop and you can see that's quite a difference. From the original one there. Oh, you can see how we have now. Nice rusty appearance on the metal bits, the wooden bits and a bit of white on the end. Now what I'm going to do is add a little bit of light weathering to that. So for that I've got these little Tamiya weathering kits. So we have here, it's basically it's, uh, it's like a little uh, makeup set for weathering. So it comes with a little brush two of them here. So we have sort of a rust colour, soot, white for snow, and over here we've got various types of mud, sand and dirt, that sort of thing. So what I'm going to do is take this, take the brush, and I'm using some of the rust, and I'm just going to brush it over just to highlight. I don't want to do too much weathering on this because it's it's going to have a snow covering on it so you're not going to see too much but it's just to... You can see by doing that it just highlights some of the details, some of the rivets and the edges as opposed to that side that I haven't done yet. So we'll just... So it's quite easy to use this. You just a little bit on the brush, just rub it on and as always with these sort of things less is more. just highlights the edges and gives a bit of variation to it. I'm going to take some of the, the black, the soot, and I'm just going to dirty up the ends here. So just a little bit. Just to take the gleaming white look off them. And there you can see a little bit of dirt on there just adds to it. And then finally I'm going to take some of the uh, light dirt down here. And I'm just going to put that along the bottom of the buffer stop there, just to... Oops, add a bit of variation to it again. So there we can see now. Oh, it'll focus, let's move these things out of the way. There we are. And you can see it just highlights it a little bit. It brings out some more of the detail. All right, the next thing now is to put the light in it. So we'll get the components for that and I'll show you how I solder them together. All right, let's try this again. This is the second time filming this. It's the first time I didn't have my mic on, so let's go again. So the components for the lights, I've got a little uh, lighthouse LED here. You can see how it's got the shape of it there, so I can push it into the hole on the buffer. And you can see how the legs are different lengths, so the longer leg is the positive. That's what you need to remember. And of course we're going to use a resistor. This is a 4.7 uh, kilo ohm resistor, because uh, I run a 12 volt supply, and if I ran 12 volts straight into this, it would just blow. So this 
reduces the voltage and the current so it doesn't blow. And then also be using some of red and black for positive and negative wire. So I'm going to cut the wire, I'm going to tin the ends and then I'll show you soldering these components together. Here you can see I've laid the components out now. Uh, a little bit of blue tack to hold everything in place, it just makes it easier when you're soldering. Now normally when I do LEDs I would put the resistor up here but because this is going into a buffer stop and you'll see why in a minute for feeding the wires through I'm going to put the resistor at the other end of the wire before it gets connected to the bus. So we're going to solder these in now. As I say, I've already pre-tinned the end, which is basically just a bit of solder on the end of the wires. Now I'm going to put a little bit of flux just on where I'm doing the soldering. It'll just help the solder flow. Remember when you're doing soldering, try and do it in a well-ventilated area. As you can see, these can get off toxic fumes. I am using uh, lead solder. I'm just going to put this in, a bit of solder on the tip. There we go. Clean off the solder iron tip. There we go, that should be it. Give a gentle tug. I can just trim that. I'm just going to trim off the ends there and then I'm going to put a little bit of heat shrink over it to make it all insulated. There it is now, heat shrink on. That insulates it, also adds a little bit of strength. We're going to fit it into the buffer stop now and then we'll solder on the uh, resistor after it's fitted. So we've got the buffer stop and quite simply we've drilled a 2 mil hole there. These are 2 mil LEDs and we just push it in through the back. And then we take the wires and we feed the wires down. This is why I haven't put the um, resistor on, so it just makes it easier. To feed the wires down. And you just have to be a little bit careful with this, that you don't break the legs off the LED. So I'm just going to do this off camera and I'll come back. LED's fitted now. Ran the wires down either side. So they're kind of hidden behind there. Just need to put a little bit of black paint on the LED here just to stop any light bleed. Uh, I'll put a couple of links down below for the LEDs and the resistors so you know what you're looking for. But it's just a two mil hole in there. Pop it through. The light will shine through there. So say a little black paint over there to stop any light bleed. So we'll just go and fit this in place now. And then we'll add the resistor onto the leg there, onto the red and we'll get it connected up and see it works in place now, all lit up. And you can see I've painted over the back of it there so there's no light bleed. So it's quite an effective little buffer stop with the light in it. Painted up. Looks a lot more realistic than the original one. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to put a little bit of glue on the top bits here and sprinkle some snow on as this is my Christmas layout and it needs a little bit of snow on it so I'm going to do that and then I'll just come back and show you when it's complete. There we go, the snow is on it now. Just a little dusting there just to give the winter effect for my Christmas layout. Again that's just Mod Podge glue and then the Woodland Scenic uh, Snowflake just sprinkled on top. So there we go. That's how I uh, do my buffer stops. There we go, buffer stops in. This is a nightmare video to make. Mics failed, soldering iron broke, some of the LEDs broke. It was just a nightmare. What should have been a little 10 minute job turned into about a three or four day event. So 
please hit that subscribe button and the thumbs up for me, please. Um, say this is a, an epic video to make. <laughs> One that should have been quite simple, turned out not to be. So uh, I'll pop a video here and here so you can ha keep watching. Uh, as I say, don't forget to hit that subscribe button, give me a thumbs up, leave any comments or questions down below. I love hearing from you guys and helping you out wherever I can. Do check out um, my live streams I do every Thursday. If you've got a question, you can come into the live stream. If I can't answer it, somebody there will. Um, don't forget to check out my channel members. And if you'd like to become a channel member or Patreon, details are down below. Very much appreciated. So as always, thanks for watching. I'll see you next time. Bye for now.